How to create multiple checkboxes at once in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create multiple checkbox at once in Excel. Not only that, also we will be able to link all these checkbox to specific cells. Okay. Another important part is that we will remove the checkbox name and if we resize or change the cell, our checkbox will resize according to the cell. So all this we are going to do in this tutorial. Before starting, I want Want you to take a moment and please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me let's get started <laughs> Take a look at this workbook. I'm going to create a to-do list here, but I need to add checkbox to all these cells. If we manually insert checkbox like we have showed how you can do that in a previous tutorial, it will take a lot of time and we need to manually rename all those checkbox. We need to manually link all those checkbox and also we will have to align all those checkbox. Those are really time consuming and I'm going to do this with one click. I'm going to create a macro and then when I run the macro, the checkboxes will be automatically created and linked to these cells okay now here i want the checkbox from cell c2 to c16 and all the checkbox should be linked within these cells okay so to do that click on the developer tab click on visual basic click insert and click module if you don't have the developer tab in your ribbon please check this video and you will learn how you can add them so when you have opened this just write the code i have already written the code i am pasting it here close it and now click on the macro and you can see this macro name will add appear add checkboxes click on run if i select this range it will create checkboxes to each cells and it will also link those checkboxes to these cells so if i click ok and you can see our checkboxes are created and they are aligned perfectly all the checkbox name has been removed and all the checkbox are linked to the cell it is placed on okay so if i right click here format control and you can see the cell link is c2 this is where the checkbox is okay now if I click here you can see the true and false value are just beneath the checkbox. I want to do it in this way. You can see if I select the column and format it text color to white you won't be able to see the true or false but you can still use it in your formulas or whatever you want to do. As I am adding checkbox in this column I don't really need this column for any other task. So that's why I wanted the checkboxes to be linked inside this column and in this code we can do that. Now if if you want to link your checkbox to the adjacent column you can do that also for that you will have to change the code a bit developer tab visual basic and then here link cell you need to change this line a bit just remove this and write it will link all those checkbox to the next cell okay so close it and let's run the code again and check it click on run and if i select this cell click ok and if i click here you can see the checkbox is linked to the next cell if you want that you can do that also if you don't want it you can do just like i did here okay if you need to hide this just simply select the column and change the font color to white so checkbox will be there if you click here you can see in the formula bar your text is still there but you can see it. so this is how you can create multiple checkbox at once and you can link multiple checkbox to different cells at once this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can please support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching